So I guess I'll start by saying this. If you are a Jet fan and you went to uh, the game today, right? Black Friday, day after Thanksgiving, uh, could have spent the day hanging out with your family, your friends, a low stress, chill day, and you decided to go to this game, you deserve a full refund. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Once again, I'm sitting in the same exact chair, the, the same chair that I sat in last week after the Jets were blown out against another division rival, the Buffalo Bills, uh, where Sala or Hackett, where this, off where this offense literally laughed off the field. And here we are again, not even a full seven days later, and the Jets are laughed off the field. We have the entire Miami Dolphins defensive line doing the Quinn and Williams dance, sack dance. We have uh, whoever the Dolphins running back was not even run in, into the end zone, and the Jets players didn't even try to tackle him, so he just kept on moving. It is a, uh, it, it's a complete embarrassment. This is an all-time low for this Jets team. I'm at the point where I'm pretty much out on Sala. I just don't know how... Like, it, it's difficult for me to, to see him, you know, win back the locker room, turn this thing around, get into the hunt, right, make the playoffs and go on a run. It, that sounds so foreign, so weird, so unrealistic to me that it makes me question everything in place. This team, offensively, they don't have a clue. They don't have a clue. Herb Street talked about the stat that we're always talking about right? Where, oh, the Jets are uh, the worst team on third downs in the last 50 years. We've been the worst team on third downs. We, we, nothing has changed. In weeks, nothing has changed. We aren't getting any better. We aren't getting any better, right? And, and these changes that the Jets are making, they just make you scratch your head. There's so many, pro like, oh, we could put Hackett in the box. We can swap out the quarterback. We can bench uh, players that we brought in and sold to everybody that they were going to be main pieces like Randall Cobb and CJ Uzamba and Alan Lazard and swap them out with undrafted free agents. And all these you know changes are, are, are being made and, and everything looks the same. If you're, you know, if you stumble across this video, you're a fan of another team, I will take your offensive coordinator over Hackett. I don't care what team it is, I will take him. That's how bad, like, it doesn't matter, Minnesota, saying it doesn't, I don't care. I'll, I will take that o OC over Hackett every single day of the week. This offense is inept. It is horrendous. Horrible on third downs, can't get in the end. So, you know, everybody's making a big deal because Garrett Wilson caught the touchdown at the end of the game. I mean, it's, it's, it's a disgrace, right? Like the Jets average one touchdown per game at, at me. Joe Douglas has had year, and we talked about this in the video in the uh, video that I posted earlier about Alan, benching Alan Lazard as a healthy scratch. Joe Douglas has had years to build this team. He is he was brought in in 2019, four draft classes, six first round picks, 350 plus million dollars spent since he's taken over. Sala has been here four years, two and a half years. He's had enough time to install the systems. He's had enough time to build the culture. We are getting worse. Why are we getting worse? Teams are passing us by. I got to be honest, I'm, I'm pretty much out on Saul. I, I just can't envision this team buying back in, him winning back the locker room, us turning it around, going on a playoff run. You know, and, and the one thing I keep seeing over and over again is... Uh, well, Aaron Rodgers got hurt. You know, well, to me, A, you don't get a 17-game pass if your starting quarterback goes down four plays into the season. You don't get a pass. I don't care what coach you are. Second of all, if one player goes down, and like for, we, we heard all this hype all offseason, Super Bowl, AFC Championship game, hosting a playoff game, in other words, winning the division. We lose one player, granted, an incredible player, Aaron Rodgers, but now we are literally unwatchable. I mean, what does that say about uh, about team building, about roster building? What does that say about Joe Douglas? What does that say about chemistry? What does that say about coaching? Oh my, like this is just a, it's a flat out disgrace. It is a flat out disgrace. Once, I mean, the Jets were what, five of 14 on third downs, which is horrible by the way, but what makes it even worse, all, all five of the third down um, uh, uh, pickups, right? All the times that they converted those five times, they were in garbage time. It doesn't, I don't even count them. 
I don't even count them. Once again, the Jets only score one touchdown a game. And, you know, whether it's quarterback issues, whether it's the offensive line getting absolutely shredded on a week-to-week -week basis from the right side specifically, uh, play calls, nothing down the field once again. The Hail Mary going into halftime. I mean, it, it really does feel like the people running this team have no answers. There are way too many questions and they... They just don't have any solutions, any remedies, any answers. They are, it, it, it's seriously like, all right, let's, uh, we'll try this play out. Oh, it doesn't work. How about this one? That, that one didn't work either. Uh, I guess we can maybe try this one. Like there's no met, there's, there's no plan. There, there's no, like a methodical approach is completely absent. And it just, I mean, oh my, it, it just, uh, like, how do the Jets even recover from this moving forward? Like, if you're a defensive player, like, do you even... I, I mean, we, we talked about it last week after the Bills game, right? If the Jets lost another week, you know, the following week today against the Dolphins, you're probably going to see some players maybe throw their hands up a little bit. Uh, is Saul in danger of losing the locker room? I would say, yeah, he is. Because nothing changes. Nobody is held accountable. Okay, yeah, I guess we're pulling players now when the season's pretty much a lost cause. Um, it's, you know, I, I actually wrote down something right before halftime, right? The last two minutes, where up to that point, the offense gave us zero points, two first downs, and the classic 0 for 5 on third downs. Eccles picks off the ball, picks off Tua, runs back for a TD, gives you six points. And then DJ Reed comes up with another pick. I go out, I pour myself a, a, a sweet tea. I come back and the Dolphins are kicking an extra point. How does that happen? Does that happen to any other team in the National Football League outside of the Jets? I don't know. I, I don't think so. I mean, we had Ryan Fitzpatrick, Richard Sherman, Tony Gonzalez, literally before the game, smirking and laughing and joking about how bad this offense was. This was before the game. This was before seven points. Offensively, this was before going five of fourteen on third downs. This was before Tim Boyle was sacked seven times for fifty yards. Once again, losing time of possession. Once again, losing total yards. Once again, losing total drives. Once again, penalized six times with unnecessary, pointless flags. There are way too many questions, way too many problems with this team. And at this point, you know, I, throughout my entire life, I've always been like, I've always tried to like, you know, look at the silver lining and, and, and try to uh, approach these games, even like mid games, right? If, if the games aren't going our favor, I really try to keep the faith, right? But I, I just don't see it. I, I just don't see it with, with this, with, with. Sala and Hackett leading this football team. Ulbricht to me gets a pass, right? Yeah, the defense let up some plays tonight, but like at some point the dam's going to break. When you can when you consistently, again, week after week after week after week, give your give your defense nothing. They're playing like elite an elite unit, and you're like, thanks, defense. Here's six points. Like this is the National Football League. What kind of joke is this? What kind of world are we living? I mean, once again, multiple turnovers. We had two turnovers tonight. How many did we have last week? Four. It's the same problems over and over and over. And, and this is just what you, like, I'm at the point, this is just what you get with a solid led football team. Good defense, but not a whole lot of anything else. <sighs> so, God, I apologize for wait. Like this watching, I'm almost at a loss for words, man. Another, another week wasted. Another week wasted. Where do we go from here? Tim Boyle, Trevor Simeon, Zach Wilson, doesn't matter. The offensive line that, that drops, the penalties, the play calling. It really feels like we just need kind of a clean slate. I, you know, of course, I'm not speaking for uh, everybody here. This is just like my personal kind of like the arrow that I'm pointing in. We have six games left, I believe. I, I mean, I just don't know how it can continue looking like this. Looking like this. So 
I, I guess I'll leave it there. I, I, I don't want to, you know, drag on or continue to harp on it and, and you know, waste your guys' time. Uh, the Jets have already, they've already done that too much. So anyway, I'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.